Welcome to my channel, I am the homie Yosh, and in this video we're going to rig and animate a Ninja Turtle in Blender. Sounds awesome, right? So check it out, you can make an animation like this at the end of this video. Okay, we're going to start off at Thingiverse, uh, MakerBot Thingiverse. We have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Raphael. But all you gotta do is change the color of his bandana and you can make it Michelangelo, Leonardo, whatever. So uh, this is by Embrose. And uh, you can go on to, this is Tip Designer, for more information if you want to tip him or send him something. That's his info right there. Um, you can share it. So that's about that. So you just go and download all files, you click on it, and you just extract, let's wait, two, three, one, zero, here we go. And I just open the file. Pops it up here, enlarge it, and just go under your files, and there's the two files right there. All you really need, but just in case, pull both of them in. That's what I do. So you just copy and paste those onto another file. All right, so now that we got that done, we're gonna go into our imports, into our Blender, and we're gonna import STL files. Now STL files are for 3D printing. That's what the universe is, is for um, if you're looking, if you want something 3D printed, that's STL. So we're gonna basically take this from STL to FBX. So we're gonna start with the STL file. So there's a Raphael here. We're gonna import the Raphael. And he's so huge. Look out. Like, this is where you're supposed to be down here. But that's okay. So we're gonna start off. We're gonna go, now, I'm gonna go to my add-ons and my amateurs. Now, if you look at my amateurs, you might not have these. So what you wanna do is you wanna go onto your preferences, under your add-ons, and type in rig, and check on rig rigifying. So what this do, does is it just enables you to have different amateur setting, um, amateur groups. Uh, so you got single bone, you got, that's already comes, you got human meta rig, animals, and you got your basic, basic human meta rig. That's what we're gonna start with. So here's our basic. And we're gonna stretch it out. Actually, no, let me undo that. We're going to bring him down to the amateur. No. Zoom, zoom selected. Now I want to go into the amateur and there's some settings. Oh, I'm under the meta rig. So you click on your amateur, which is right here. And you go down to these settings here. Now what you want to look for is you might be closed view display click on view display and you got names shapes groups colors and in front you want to click on in front so that allows it so you can see it through the mesh now the render doesn't pick it up like that so if i would go to i don't have let me add out a little bit. Bring this up. Go to camera view. Now if I would go to render image. Well, it's dark. It's bringing in a light, I guess. Okay, now I'm going to render image. So it's still a little dark, but you can see clearly the bones aren't there. Let's turn this up a lot. <laughs> and let's go to render image. There we go. Another way is to um, go through it this way. There we go. 
to say, no amateur. Looks pretty cool. Another thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the object and I'm just going to go to Shade Smooth. And let's look at them. There we go. It's almost like it's from the movies, except he has no color. That's okay, we're going to give him some color. Let's just, for now, I'm not going to go through picking and packing. I'm just going to give him a green color. There we go. So let's just render that. Okay, beautiful. We can go ahead and later on, you know, texturize the shell, you know, give them some, you know, Michelangelo orange bandanas. So, but we'll do that later. Right now, let's just get to the rigging. So right now, I'm going to go and delete this camera. I'm going to get rid of this sun. I'm going to go back to this view here. Okay, so let's get back to the rigging here. So we're, I'm going to get a top view. Number seven on your number pad. I'm gonna hit the rig, I'm gonna hit under G. You know, I'm also gonna turn something on here. Let me find it. There you go, so you can see right down here. All right, so I'm gonna move this and I'll line it up. Hit my side view, number three. And here is another cool trick. So I want to go into, see, I got my cursor and everything down here. It's crazy. I'm trying to focus right here. So what I can do is go into edit mode. I'm going to click on this bone here and I'm going to Can't do it too. Yeah, I can. Okay. I'm going to snap cursor to selected. Okay. Um, oh. Okay. Oh, I can't do it in. Oh, I can't do it. Okay. It's under amateur. All right. So you select the amateur instead of object. Uh, all right, so cursor to select it. There you go. So that moves your cursor to this area. But we also want, so if we go into tab, see, it's still down here. So tab add, um, object mode. I hit tab to get back and forth. Tab, tab, tab. All right, so I go back in, I go to object mode now, and I go into object, and right where it says set origin to 3D cursor. There you go. So now that's a little trick anywhere you want to move your 3D cursor. That's the best way to do it. So now I can move my whole object from right here instead of have to go all the way down to the feet, which is annoying. So you're welcome. All right. Um, yeah, it saves a lot of time. All right, so another one is while we're at the mesh, we got him shrunken down here. I want to hit Control A, and I want to do all transforms, apply everything. First, I want to so right here we have him scaled down to 0 0.015. That's not going to fly. So I hit Control A, and we're going to do all transforms, and now we got him down as one. So they're both one, one and one. Not this is one and one point. It's, it's crazy. All right, so let's just let's go back into edit mode here, and I'm gonna select some bones in them. Okay. Okay. Before I want to do that, I just want to mirror it. side does the same thing so let's get his shoulders up we want his shoulders about right there let's aim these down bring them in let's do the same thing here and this one 
this is crazy. Let's rotate it. a little bit now you can see my I'm going back and forth from G hitting R so my rotate S to scale So that's another thing. If you want to extrude your, oh, I gotta, I gotta delete this guy here. There we go. So if you want to add another bone, just hit E and it'll extrude. You know, E to extrude. We can give him some crazy, you know, long arms or something. But I'm not gonna do that. This is in this here. Okay, that's that looks pretty good. So let's move these guys down. Just want to move. cat <laughs> she's hungry it's her time she's gonna have to wait Selected. This needs to be. Let me just put this up by hitting G and pulling it up on the Z axis. Okay. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one here. This is driving me nuts. That's my whole problem. Don't ever think you have to stay inside the line. Sometimes you gotta go out. Alright, and we're gonna give us other two here. Actually, let's put a space between his bones. Okay, let's make his heel. Like 
looks pretty good. Let's go on my mouth. So what I'm gonna do is Now this is just experimental right now. <laughs> so if this doesn't work, I'm just gonna delete these. Okay. Oh, we gotta move all that up. test okay so we scope into object mode here and what I want to do is there we go I want to have the rig selected first yellow and have Raphael blue and just hit control P and if you don't get it See, this is why, I'm going to show you why if you'd have it backwards, vice versa, what happens. If you'd hit Control P, I don't, you know, it's not, it's not the same. But if I go to Rig first, hit Control P, it gives me more options. It gives me the options to with automatic weights, and that's what we want. Bam. So then we go back to Object Mode. Go and turn off. Oh, I'm gonna go. Yeah, go into my meta rig here, and I'm gonna go into my turn off in front on my view just for now. Okay, then I'm going into my pose mode. First, I want to see if I can get these to work first. make sure be aware when this is on and off if you keep this you're done with an animation and you don't forget to click this off and you go on to something else and you just move it into a position you're just testing something and it's recording it still so always make sure be aware you know of this button here we're at recording you know this is off so we're at recording right now I just want to just lay go just right there and then we're going to go on to the 70. Okay, and then we're going to turn that off. Let's go back to zero. And move on to this lake here. I just want to go forward just a little bit. Oh, we got to record. 
There we go. Move this into position, 70. off and let's play it. <laughs> there it is now as this is going on you can move your object forward so we're gonna go we're gonna go out of pose mode we're just gonna go into the object mode and we're gonna select the object pretty good that's the start of him running there we go so let's go and um, record this so we got a recording my cat is getting hungry so I'm gonna have to get off soon all right so let's really click on your format takes care of all your writing settings, where it's going to go. Now, we don't want 250, we only want 70. Let's, let's put 75, just to, no, 70, that's where we ended. All right, so, um, frame rate is 24, that's fine, you can speed it up or whatever later. All right, so, just look really good on cycles, but we're just we don't have time for it, so we're just gonna do Eevee. Alright, so this is where you select down here where you're gonna put your animations at. Now this is not like Maya where you have to do screen by screen, which drives me nuts. So um, oh I know we got our videos, we're done my my blender project here. Hold in here. Animations, what you call it? Oh, why don't I put two ends in there? Teenage Meat and Ninja Turtle. Okay, so there we go. And then we make sure that this is on. VV, um, FF, uh, MPEG video. I believe it, I already have mine, you would be under JPEG and you just switch it to FF, MPEG. Um, MPEG 4 is what you want your, your encoding. 
just set, keep this at H.264. High quality is good. If you want low quality, you can put that. It's just green. It's a low poly, anyways. Encoding good. No audio. Looks like we're all good there. So then we just go to our reading. I'm just gonna make sure that my image looks. Oh, yeah. It'd be nice if we kept our camera in, but we didn't. So let's uh, let's bring a camera. So uh, we are in object mode. There's my camera. Just regular camera. And while I'm here, I'm gonna let me bring in a, uh, a light. That's the sun. The sun would be good. change this color a little bit. Let me give him a little metallic. A little bit, a lot. And let's pull down the roughness. Get my camera. Camera view. If I go into my view sliding settings here, I want to go this one here, camera to view. I can move around the camera while watching it. And I'm gonna hold in shift in the middle. Uh, let's do. Let's animate the camera too. All right, so. I'm going to start it at zero. Let me turn this on here. And at 70, I just want to turn it. There we go. It's a nice little view. This is a nice little starter. Oh, all right. So let's finish this up real quick. Let's pause it. Let's go to render. Render animation. Man, we just gotta wait for it to render. Now I'm using the Eevee engine. Cycle would make it really, really, really good if you add some nice textures. Now I recommend it. Texture out the shell, separate the shells, separate the bandanas, and just keep the form of the turtle. Putting you in your animations, and then bringing in the shell and the uh, the armbands. Because you see, as we were moving his arm here, his armbands were moving too. So if we would just have the armbands separate from the object, we wouldn't have that problem anymore. But uh, let's go and check. Let's go and check this out videos animation video there it is there you go your first animation Isn't that great okay that's gonna do it for this video I'd like to say thank you for watching and anybody that's new hit that like and subscribe button Hit the notification bell for new content. Until then, keep creating.